Hey guys, welcome back to In the Lab with Sunday. And right now we're gonna talk about the difference between alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids. And that question is asked all the time, do I need good genes and UFO if I have congested skin or if I really wanna get rid of blackheads? Well, they're similar in the sense that they're both acids, but they're different. So an alpha hydroxy acid, like lactic acid or glycolic acid, is a water soluble ingredient. And beta hydroxy acid is an oil soluble ingredient, which is why we actually put it into UFO, which is this beautiful green oil. So what's really cool about beta hydroxy acid is that um, as an oil soluble ingredient, basically think about in chemistry, like dissolves like, right? So one thing that it will help do is, and it's this pretty green color, but as you rub it into the skin and really get the product into your skin, it goes completely to clear really quickly. It's gonna help dissolve the oily buildup inside of your pores. So I like to say it basically exfoliates from inside the pores, but it's gonna go in again, it's gonna dissolve all that oily buildup. It's great, so that's great for getting rid of blackheads. That's great for getting rid of acne. It's amazing for that. Um, here's the downside of beta hydroxy acids and why I like to be careful with how we use them. Um, because it dissolves oil, it's also going to naturally dissolve the oils on the surface of your skin, which is good in some levels and then bad in others because it can leave your skin really rough, um, really textured and flaking and peeling. I think we've all had experiences with salicylic acid where we ended up with flaking, peeling skin. And that's one of the, the side effects of salicylic acid. But by putting it into this really beautiful oil, basically your skin is getting rehydrated. And so it's not gonna have those you know, damaging side effects, which makes it great. What I like to do with a salicylic acid product like this, because this is really strong and it's really potent, is I like to start off until people start off using it two times a week um, so that you're, as your skin is really cleaning itself out, you're not gonna purge too much. So, and then you can work your way up to daily use. Well, alpha hydroxy acid, which was what's in good genes, is great, and like I said, it's very similar to beta hydroxy acid, but it's also different. So being this water-soluble ingredient, it's gonna go into your skin, and as you rub it in, it's gonna help dissolve the glue that's really holding down that pore-clogging debris that's on the surface of your skin, which is those, those old dead skin cells which are holding you know, makeup and sebum and pollution, all those things are on the surface, which guess what? As we have all that stuff on the surface of our skin, it's going to actually go into your pores, and that can cause your pores to get stretched out, which can cause your pores to get blackheads and all sorts of things like that. So it's really important to what I call cleaning the window of your skin with an alpha hydroxy acid to remove the pore clogging debris, which is important whether you have young skin, mature skin, oily skin, dry skin, you're gonna have this incredible buildup on the surface of your skin, which is gonna lead to dullness and a lack of radiance. So with an alpha hydroxy acid, usually you immediately see an increase in radiance as that dull, kind of dirty window layer is removed, and it also stops that stuff from falling into your pores. And then with a beta hydroxy acid, it's gonna go in and clean your pores out and really exfoliate from inside your pores and dissolve all that stuff inside of there. So it's really important for blackheads and for skin clarity. This is important for luminance, for radiance, and again, for I like to use it for preventing congestion. But thanks again for joining us at the In The Lab series, and I hope you tune in next time for some other interesting facts about products, ingredients, anything you might want to know about.